Welcome to video number 81. This is all going to be about Hubble and telescopes. Well, what are electromagnetic waves, you ask? Now, if you guys remember back to radiation, we talked about that. Um, and we talked about that with heat um, transfer. And so EM waves are energies that can travel through space in the form of waves. So it's really just energy. And if you take a look down here, I've got the electromagnetic spectrum for you that goes from everything uh, from the left uh, to all the way to the right. And that just has to do with short and length of the waves. So just kind of the different ways that they are. You'll see there's a very narrow spectrum, somewhere between 10 to the minus 6 and minus 7 of visible light. And that's what we're able to see. And then you can see radio waves and microwaves and infrared and ultraviolet and things like that. So let's talk about telescopes types. There's actually many different types, if you guys didn't know that. Uh, there's reflecting, there is refracting, be careful, they'll sound very similar, but they're very different. There's optical, a radio, and I'm actually gonna talk to you about Hubble. Now the Earth's atmosphere interferes a lot with telescopes. And the problem is, is that you get this blue fuzzy haze and it's very hard to see through. So what you would see would be a lot of uh, fuzz. It would not be nearly as clear. So let's talk about some famous telescopes. Uh, there was one built in 1917. It's called the Hooker Reflector Telescope. And this was actually named after the guy who paid for it. Uh, it's found um, up top uh, Mount Wilson in California. It's a hundred inch and they would think that the longer was better at the time. And Edwin Hubble, he's also an old dead dude of mine, uh, actually used this telescope for some very famous discoveries. Meet my old dead dude, Edwin Hubble. Uh, he was the first to discover there were other galaxies besides ours. And if you want a definition of galaxy, it's just a giant system of stars. Uh, there's a telescope in space name for him, if you've heard about the Hubble, and his theories led to the Big Bang Theory. And no, I'm not talking about, you know, my husband's favorite TV show uh, with Penny and Leonard. I'm talking about the Big Bang Theory of Astronomy. So the cool thing about the Hubble telescope is that because it is launched in outer space, it avoids Earth's atmosphere and distortion to it. So it doesn't have that fuzz or that blue or that haze. Um, it was launched in 1990 and it creates very detailed images. To share with you three of my favorite images from Hubble. Uh, so this is the Eagle Nebula, and again, these are all taken with the Hubble telescope out in outer space. Uh, my favorite galaxy one, this is the Sombrero Galaxy, kind of looks like a sombrero hat there. And then this is called the Boomerang Nebula, and I love this one. I just love all the colors and the details that you can see in this. It's so cool to think these things are so far away, and yet we get to see pictures of them. All right, quick little video clip about Hubble, and then I'll see you back here for summary time. April 1990, NASA launches the Hubble Space Telescope, the first in a new generation of space telescopes unlocking the secrets of the cosmos. They are going to tell us in detail what our universe is made of, how it was born, how our universe is evolving. High-tech telescopes like Hubble take us back to the dawn of time to the very birth of the universe. Show us giant clouds where stars and planets are born. Each time a new telescope looks in a different way at the universe, we learn something new and profound about the universe. In stunning clarity, we can now watch stars exploding, galaxies colliding, and the violence of black holes. There's a whole hidden universe out there. We see the universe continuously changing and evolving. At this 20th anniversary of Hubble's launch, revolutions in telescope technology continue to push forward the frontiers of space. All right, summary time, here we go. So describe and um, the telescopes and list five different kinds. Uh, what is so unique about the Hubble telescope and create a t-chart that contrasts um, Galileo and Hubble, so my two old dead dudes. Hope you enjoy the funny and I'll see you guys in class.